guys did my grade 12 in year 2005. I belong to a place called Panipat. How many of you here? How many of you know about Panipat? Good. So I belong to a place called Panipat. Doing regular 10th, 11th, 12th, 12th, I got, you know, uh, finishing my school education, 11, 12, being around Fiji on the Raina, you know, doing ITG preparation, like a uh, regular mindset, wanting to crack IIT. Two years, 11, 12, gone to Delhi, Punjabi Park, every weekend after school time, preparing IIT, go crack and that's the only the best choice, that's how I do my life. But after two years of dedicated effort, when I was writing J, the score I got was not good. And I believe now the A triple is there. That time A triple E, J, all the exams were there. And A triple E was A I triple E was exam. It got the rank around seventy thousand something. It ended up joining a private university. That now NCU used to be called as Institute of Technology and Management. I believe you go NCU. So, uh, 2005 July, August time, landed up, you know, uh, started doing my engineering. Branch got was electronics and chemistry engineering. This was the first year, started, uh, you know, studying here. And, uh, like a regular, and you know, like a regular normal engineering student, classes started, first semester, second semester, courses, and uh, you know, all uh, IIT started. So the dream was, parents' point of view, IIT, IIT didn't get it, got into IPM, started doing well, it was the first year that finished and I realized that something is wrong, this is not really what I want to do in my life. In engineering, that's fine, and you know, uh, but, that was the time I thought I've got something different. I want to do something different. Went out and corporate in a company. And this was the age of 17, going to touch 18, I incorporated in my first company called as GMT Counseling Services. But you know, like usual parental mindset, everybody said, yeah, but I to go. But when say company, I mean, which place, which undergrad, master, which school, should have something in your hand. I said, all right, but I started to go. But I knew there's something different that I can do. And since I could not get IIT, I got so aggressive I want to do something different in my life. I'm talking about year 2006, I'm uh, very happy that you guys sitting in 2016 have a lot, lot of exposure to awareness. You've got TEDx sessions happening, you know, got huge internet supporting you. Ten years back when I was pursuing my engineering, there was nobody to support you. It was a conventional educational engineering setup, people coming, studying, going, exams, taking the end of it, that's all. And that is the time I started searching for a lot about how to go abroad, how to get more exposure. And right at the time, you know, I got an opportunity to go abroad and pursue an internship uh, with an industry sponsored program in the University in Ireland. I did not really try for it very hard, could do whatever I could do, there was not much of guidance. Attempted it, luckily got it. And second year, in the summertime, went abroad, pursued my internship, came back, got so greedy, wow, this is possible. You don't have to even pay anything, you know, it's all being sponsored, yeah, going, going, coming, traveling, studying there, come back, it works, amazing. Came back, did another semester, got really greedy, oh, this is possible, and finally, third year, got the opportunity to go to Canada for a first sponsor program, again, fully sponsored, was there for three, three and a half months. But something really happened in Canada that changed my whole life. I joined as a research intern in the Department of Electrical and Chemical Engineering, University of Alberta. My professor who took me was an Indian. I think probably got a little favor that way that I got a you know opportunity to work there. So it was the first month working all fine, all good. You know more of partero just a career, and then the professor was too busy. After a month's time, professor got real lack of it. Oh, I'm paying this guy bloody you know thirteen hundred dollars a month. He's gonna do something for me. Okay. So he took me to the, you know, the brainstorming session used to happen there with the students and the professors. And let me tell you, I went in there, joined, and the session was used to be more interactive. You know, professor, teachers will drag, discuss a lot of things to understand what do you want to do. The few very basic stuff of physics and, you know, mathematics being discussed there. And let me tell you, 
I'm sure हम सब ने यू नो वही पढ़ाई करी है टेंथ इलेवेंथ क्लास में प्रदीप की लक्ष्मी मनजीत सिंह आई यू स्टडी डेट सुनो बड़ी सारी ट्यूशन पढ़ी हो बड़ी बड़ी किताबें पढ़ी इंजीनियरिंग फर्स्ट सेकेंड ईयर में आपके एम वन एम टू एम थ्री बी एस अग्रवाल पढ़ी यू नो बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली I could not even answer 10 question applications being asked although I used to be a studious class student 70 80 percent marks bhi aa jate the lekin that session was so embarrassing to me that I ended up saying three four times to my professor sorry I didn't understand your language I come from a decent university I know English very well but I had to pretend that okay I don't know really much of your accent or something because I was so you know uncomfortable answering there because I didn't know at all and that is the time i realized that okay there is something called basics you need to work on you need to be more practical oriented what you do what you do in life and this is what i keep teaching my student this is as well need to be more practical oriented so anyway that was a session that opened my eyes for a lot that whatever you want to do in life that has to be practically oriented and should have a meaning out of it and just 10 days after that session my professor took me to the dean academics there introduced me sir he is a talented kashish jha man came to university as an intern and all the dean immediately asked me one thing oh india are you from itt he didn't even know that there institutes called iit he just knew some iit exist in there he was talking he was so nicely so well about the family what i do the moment he said are you from itt i said no his behavior talking to me totally changed oh okay it's only professor oh, did you get other good people you know coming from india they been doing well i was sitting there and sitting in front of dean and listening to these kind of comments i'm sure it must be uh, you all can understand it's quite painful isn't it yes or no quite painful i said all right is this the only thing that matters I've been doing so well. Yeah, I've been all the way to India. I've got some achievements in my hand and all and all. Okay. The session got over, and I was there for another one and a half months. Worked really, really, really hard day and night. I was working in a team of ten people. You know, uh, seven Chinese, two Taiwanese, one Singaporean. I was the only Indian. Those guys used to work like ten, twelve, fourteen hours a day, and you know, working very hard. So two lessons very strongly learned there. practical applications and second doesn't matter if i can go through the iit but need to make a difference came back and the first target in my mind was doesn't matter yaar life mein kuch karenge to nahi karenge to baat ki baat hai lekin iit ki step to zarur chahiye you know i had no idea how to approach what to do went to iit delhi started meeting people started meeting professors I find out by that time I had a little idea what I want to do because academia wise I've been to two countries working on a research project. So I started approaching and meeting people, and I still remember the professor I met. I've gone to him once, twice, thrice, four times, fifth time, six times. He used to say no, 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 and till my eleventh time, he said yes, okay, I'll just come and do. And this is third year of my engineering, and till then. The professor did not give me the opportunity because I didn't really deserve it. The professor gave me the opportunity. Probably I was too much, you know, kind of irritating him in terms of follow up and all. And I was also that time not really sure what I would want to do with this opportunity, but I wanted an IIT stamp on my CV. All right, got the opportunity, went in there, and realized the situation is not what it was in Canada. It is actually the same here. I was not able actually it would be accommodate myself in that institute as well because the people studying there itself had a different perspective uh, of you know learning and teaching what was going on there. Anyways, that's how you know uh, engineering got over in four years with a little bit of international exposure, learnings and all. But back in the mind, the business initiative idea was on. Kept on researching, doing a lot of things, but since didn't have a green signal from the family, also didn't have a lot of money because business requires money. So he was thought of doing the you know the regular activity that okay, all right, undergrad over here did well. Went to Alberta again for masters and for the scholarship run program. Uh, but one lesson I got. But one lesson I got, you know. Uh, 
very well in my undergrad that learning has to be good and important. Been to Canada, did my master, did well, two years and uh, came back. Got my first job very well, but that was the time I said no more, no, no more education. And want to do and live my dream, that is business, that is my passion and uh, again, told my parents and family that now no more stopping, this is what I have to do and if I want to go back, I can do anything on my own academia field or the technical domain. Didn't have a lot of money in my master's, two years I could save around 30, 34 lakh rupees, that's what I had and came back and I thought this is good enough money to start my business. But unfortunately when I came back, this was August 2011, I had a very good business idea in mind what I wanted to do and execute. But when I started meeting people, interacting people, of course I was cannot manage everything alone by myself. Started interacting with people and wanted to hire a few people like you, young people, and who can join us and work together. But unfortunately, I realized that if we want to hire young people, they don't want to work less than glass buildings. They want super duper luxury offices, they want super duper salary, they want high end facilities. It's changing now, I'm very happy when people have started you know, looking at startups with a different picture, but five, six years down the line, they really want to you know, work in a different scenario altogether. So did a budget calculation and finally worked out this business model not even working less than like 70, 75 lakhs. And I said, no, it's not possible, absolutely can't do anything you know, without that because mine is a service industry model and I need people to work with me. Started approaching investors, you know, talking to 1, 10, 15, 20 people, nothing worked out, totally tired up, depressed almost. Uh, you know, parents support would not have been there, probably end up committing, ended up committing suicide. You know, that, you know, painful. Thought of going back, got my PhD admission, okay, let's forget it, yeah, <coughs> but I got tickets booked also going back in December to Canada. And 11 December, I got the call from one of the investors that, okay. We got your idea clicked, happy and we are ready to find some money to you. I said, alright, tickets cancelled, this chance I'll not get it again and you know, immediately got on the board and business started. And, you know, the way I thought that business will be, it's totally out of the box and different, it's not as easy as, easy as what I thought of. You, know. you can believe that first uh, two years of the business that I have, Especially working in service industry in India, there were so much of challenges because all people, different mindset, and different perception, different observations. There is actually, there was actually, uh, you know, multiple occasions that you almost feeling, almost feel like, you know, turning uh, down your business and go back to, you know, your education or your, uh, you know, job whatever you want to do, uh, you know, run away. I will not probably, you know, go beyond whatever is coming out. I don't want to share a lot of problems that I faced, but I can definitely tell you that over the first two years of the business opportunity, there were almost 15 plus opportunities that I really wanted to get to the terrace and probably jump.